Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. I'm so excited to be sharing with you today. I actually pre-recorded this and hopefully everything will go well and it will go, uh, the video will go live and it'll seem just like I'm live. But tonight is the start of the Stampin' Up! On Stage at Home Conference. And so I am hanging out with some local team members watching the recognition event which is going to include recognition, of course, but also um, musical entertainment, stamping presentations, and I'm kind of doing a little chocolate-themed party <laughs> to go along with it. So it is a busy night. Unfortunately, I will not be able to join you live, but like I said, I do have some projects to share with you, and so we are going to jump right in because I hope to make a basketball game after this video before everything starts. Oh my goodness, it has totally been that kind of day. How is it for you guys? How is your day going? It is Thursday, November 11th. Happy Veterans Day to all of our veterans. Oh my goodness, I have several veterans on my team. My father's a veteran. I'm so thankful for all of your service and sacrifice that you've given for our country here in the United States. You guys are so amazing and I just have nothing but such gratitude. Mm, I think about that every every Veterans Day. I feel like it just like all day long. I just have this this immense gratitude in my heart and I just am thinking about it all day. So um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all of our servicemen and women. You guys are so amazing. And I'm, I'm really, I'm eternally grateful for, um, for all that you do for our freedom. Okay. Let's jump in. I have been thinking about this card for a long time. <laughs> well, I don't know where you are in the world, but here in central Illinois, all the colors are changing. Autumn is finally here, even though it seems like it's a little bit late. And so today's card is inspired by all of those autumn colors. I'm going to be doing the baby wipe technique. Have you guys done this technique before? I'm grabbing a wet wipe. This is just a baby wipe, literally, but you could use, um, I suppose you could use like a wet paper towel or something. Um, I'm going to create like a little ink pad. And actually, this baby wipe seems like it is pretty thin. So I am going to add a double layer of baby wipe here. So what we're doing is we're creating an ink pad. You want some moisture on these wipes and we're going to be using the reinker. So normally you would use these to reink your ink pads and we're going to create a little mini ink pad with different colors. I'm using colors from the Regals, Crushed Curry, Pumpkin Pie, and Cajun Craze for my autumn colors today. <laughs> my dogs are playing. Oh my goodness, they're so crazy. I always like to start with my lightest color and then move to my darkest color. And I'm going to kind of just fill in all these spots. Hopefully this will work. I feel like these wipes are a little um, fibery. So we're going to see in just a second. We're taking some stamps here. These are from the Gorgeous Leaves stamp set from the July through December mini catalog. And I have mounted three stamps on one block and we're going to stamp them all at once. You want to make sure, and I think I've got it, that your ink pad is about as big as your stamped image. And then I've got some cardstock that is pre-cut. These pieces are um, three and a half inches by four and three quarter inches. And I've got four because the thing with the baby wipe is that it will last quite a while. Like you can stamp several iterations with the baby wipe. And so I thought I would make a couple different cards since I've got the baby wipe all put together. So I'm doing some uh, leaves around, oh, not around, but just sort of down the card. And oh my gosh, this is turning out even better than I had hoped. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh my gosh. I love it. Like I said, as long as your baby wipe is wet, you're good. So I'm going to stamp a couple different cards. And as I'm stamping on these, I am uh, just sort of tapping the stamp around to get the different colors. I want to move this up just a little, I think. Let's try that. Oh my gosh. This just like screams fall. It's so beautiful! You can do the baby wipe technique, of course, with any colors, but I always find that I do it a lot in the fall with fall colors because, like, this is what leaves look like in the fall, right? Like, you get these different colors, and it's just so amazing. Okay, there we go. I've got four of them done, so I'm going to put this aside, and this can just go in the trash when you're all done with it. So, let me 
Let me set it aside here. Now we're gonna bring in another stamp set from the July through December catalog. This is called um, Thinking Thanks and Peace, and I'm using the Thinking of You from this one. I love how um, big this greeting is, and so hopefully this will turn out, <laughs> hopefully it'll turn out the way it did in my head, but um, what do you think? Is that dark enough to cover? Um, I'm gonna turn it. I like maybe that better. There's a little, a little more room there. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. If you want to, you could also use embossing powder to get a nice crisp look. Now I do have four cards and four card bases ready to go, but for time's sake, I'm just gonna glue one down and I'll finish up the other ones later because you don't need to watch me do all the gluing. So let's pick out our favorite one. Oh my goodness. I think I like this one best. I am gonna make them all out and send them out though because they're so beautiful. Fall, you guys know, is my favorite. It's just so beautiful, just like it is right now. It is so beautiful out. Now, originally I had planned for this to be a vertical card, so it made sense for that fold to be up there. It still makes plenty of sense for it to be down here, but um, <laughs> maybe a little, a little stranger to have the side open. Oh my gosh. I've got early espresso layer here that is, um, let's see, it's, three and three quarter inches by five, and then layered onto the Cajun Craze cardstock. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Okay, today's cards, I'm gonna tell you, are all gonna be clean and simple because that is just like all I have time for today. <laughs> but also because it's my style to do clean and simple. All right, right now you probably know we've got Eden's Garden. Okay, this is a new stamp set that's coming out in the new mini catalog, January through July, or June, January through June. And this is what we're so excited to see. And I anticipate that the PDF will be posted for onstage attendees to view tonight. So I cannot wait to see what else is coming out in this mini catalog. Now, you can get this stamp set, this little sneak peek, right now during November and December everyone can purchase from Eden's Garden so there is an exclusive bundle not an exclusive bundle it's going to be in the next mini catalog <laughs> featuring the Eden's Garden stamp set and the Eden dies and then some exclusive designer paper cotton paper and garden gems and these are the ones that are only available while supplies last now I did a whole video with mom where I shared a bunch of projects using the Eden's Garden suite so I'll link to that in the video description so you can check that out when you're all done with this video and see more more ideas. Now I know some of you are on the fence and I have to admit I was too, but the more I play with it, the more I'm really loving this. So I hope you enjoy this clean and simple card idea today. Um, again, since I was cutting cardstock, I just decided that I would cut for two cards. So I'm going to stamp for two, but I'm only going to assemble um, one while we're here. So um, here's what we're doing. We are using two different of these leaves and I'm using the two colors that are featured in the designer paper, Soft Succulent and Evening Evergreen. And we're going to alternate these and then create a sentiment across the middle. So let's start with the lighter color. And um, for this, I'm going to have uh, a layer on the top and a layer on the bottom. So I'm gonna do two, no, I'm gonna do three on the top so one, two, three, kind of evenly spacing them. And then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm going to do two um, facing the other direction. Okay, so it's gonna look, it's gonna make sense as we, as we fill it in. So let's do this one too. One, two, three and then turn it. And you could easily do this card in this design, I think with a lot of different stamp sets. So this is not specific to Eden's Garden. Um, let's grab, I wanna do for the inside of the um, card, I want to do um, just kind of like on the bottom. So I'm going to do one, two, three across the bottom. And then let's bring in the Evening Evergreen and the other stamp. And so now we're gonna just fill in. And I have to say, 
I don't know if it's because I've used my evening evergreen. I feel like I just did re-ink it, but I don't see a lot of difference in those colors to you. The evening evergreen is here with the rounded leaf, and it's definitely darker, um, but the other one is pretty, it's pretty dark too with soft succulents. So these are for the inside of the cards, and then for the front of the cards, now we're going to fill in with the evening evergreen. So we're going to do the opposite. We're going to have two on top and three on the bottom. So by alternating, we have sort of filled in and created, right now it probably looks silly, doesn't it? <laughs> but when we finish the card, it's all gonna make sense. Okay, so those are the card fronts. And then I have two strips which are gonna go across the center with the sentiment. So let's stamp those next. Oh, jeez Louise, I am making such a mess. And, and I don't think I have. Um, I don't have sanitizer near me. Let's see if I can just lick it off. <laughs> okay. Da, 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 da. There's our clean and simple stamping. Now, one of the things that is part of this suite is the cotton paper. Let me show you really quick, actually. I didn't show you the paper. The paper is so pretty. <laughs> we have this combination of the soft succulent and the evening evergreen and white and then the gold accents. This paper is so beautiful. I think even if you don't get the stamps, you might want to you might want to get the paper on its own. So this is the inspiration for the card. Really, actually, this sheet right here. I just love that combination and the way that fills up. But here's the cotton paper. It's actually like tissue paper, sort of. Um, it's very, very thin. There's one side that's kind of shiny, and then the other side that is just like slightly textured. Um, it comes in 12 by 12, and you get both the soft succulent and the evening evergreen. So I wanted to show you uh, an a technique and idea that I had for this paper. And I'm just gonna take the paper and um, kind of just sort of fold it back and forth to create some pleats. And um, I love to play with paper sometimes. I always have, like as a child, I would pleat paper back and forth and like, you know, make, make little things. I might need a longer piece actually with this. I cut a six by six piece. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you. And then when you're doing this, you might want to start with the longer piece. But if you don't, I will show you how to go around that. So I've sort of pleated the paper. And I'm going to take a pair of scissors and cut down the middle. So I started with a one inch piece. You could start with a, a skinnier piece, but I like to pleat once and then to cut it in half. So I'm going to make it stretch and work. Where did my adhesive go? Here it is. So I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive behind the cardstock panel. And then I'm going to add the pleated paper as just like a little border. Whoops. And by dividing it up, now I can bring in the second piece. Doesn't that look cool? It's a little bunchier here. Let's just like make that looser. All right, there's our little pleated paper border, and I love that it just elevates the card just a little bit. So let me set these aside. I'll finish that card later. And on our evening evergreen card base, we're going to put everything together. So let's add this to the card front. Oh, man. I have just a little bit of, let's see if I can get that, a little bit of ink. I think I got it. That is my sand eraser. And whenever you have an inky oop, sometimes you can get it with a sand eraser. I do love that. It was just a couple dollars on Amazon. I think someone said they once found it at a dollar store. So that was a lucky dollar store find. All right, let's do some Stampin' Dimensionals to add our sentiment on the card. Oh. 
all the way across. And like it just comes together. I love the way that turned out. <laughs> I'm a little, a little off there. Maybe my cardstock is just a little too, a little too wide. So I'm just gonna take my paper trimmer and just give that a little, little trim. Now it goes to the end. Okay, clean and simple card number two. I feel like we are just flying through them tonight, but I hope you enjoy these clean and simple card ideas. Sometimes we get crazy and fancy, but sometimes it's nice just to do something quick and simple. Are you ready for quick and simple card number three? <laughs> Oh, you know what? Before we do quick and simple card number three, I want to take a little commercial break. There were some things that I wanted to tell you at the beginning and I totally forgot. So we've got a lot going on. In addition to the Eden's Garden um, that you can get right now, um, we also have a starter kit special going on. This is for brand new demonstrators. If you want to join as a demonstrator, if you've ever thought about joining my team, um, then you can do it for a discount this month. Normally the starter kit is $99. And right now through the end of November, you can join for $75. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, this is an incredible deal. Most of the time Stampin' Up! will add on to the starter kit, but this is one of the rare times that they have discounted the starter kit. So it's only $75. You still get to choose $125 in product. So if you've been thinking about getting something big, like the Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine, I did a little breakdown to show you what the cost difference would be. So if you here in the United States bought the Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine for $120, maybe you wanted to add some rhinestones, that'd be $125 in product plus shipping and tax, you would pay $149.88, okay? Are you following me so far? If you sign up to be a demonstrator and get the starter kit, you can choose $125. So the stamp and cut and emboss machine and the rhinestones or whatever you want. You also get a free paper pumpkin kit, 20% discount on additional orders all the way until at least April 30th, 2022 or longer if you choose to stay active as a demonstrator. You get free access to all of my class PDFs and bonus tutorials. You get catalogs to share with friends. You get to be part of the Jubilant Stampers team. We have 125 demonstrators across the country and an amazing Jubilant Stampers community here on Facebook. All of that for $75. Shipping is free on this starter kit order plus tax. Your total is $81.75. Okay, all of this plus more and you save $68.13. What? Oh, you guys, I seriously cannot believe this crazy deal. In the description, I'm going to put this link. If you're ready to join right now and you know exactly what you want to get for $125, you can go to tinyurl.com slash SU starter kit. This is the link to join under me, Julie Davison. If you don't know what you want and you still have some questions, I'll also put a link in the video description with um, all the PDF, frequent, not PDF, FAQs, frequently asked questions that I get all the time about what it's like to be a demonstrator. There literally is no strings attached. You can just shop for yourself and get a discount. You do not have to hold classes. You do not have to have parties. Of course, if you want to make some money, <laughs> that helps to do those things. But most of my team are discount buyers. They're just happy shoppers who enjoy all the perks of being a demonstrator for themselves. Okay, you want to know it gets even better, you guys. Next week, you may have heard there is a seasonal sale. This is like our Black Friday specials, except it's early this year. The seasonal sale is Tuesday, November 16th through Thursday, November 18th. During the seasonal sale, you'll get 10% off cardstock, 15% off ink pads, and 20% off dies from the annual catalog. And you guys, you can double dip. You can get discounted product in your discounted starter kit. And so during this during the seasonal sale, you can get like even more than $125 of product because you can get it on sale. So the value of the product is even more and you get the sale price like, oh my gosh, it's totally crazy. I'm just saying, <laughs> make out your list, whether you're going to be shopping from November 16th through the 18th or 
are getting yourself a starter kit, you definitely do not want to miss either one of these sales. You can shop in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. You can join my team right now or next week at tinyurl.com slash su starter kit. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer those. Okay, one last thing, you guys, this is so much fun. I did this last year and I've already gotten some orders and sent out some invoices. Do you wanna be your own secret Santa? I have wrapped up 12 gifts plus a bonus gift not seen here. And you can be your own secret Santa by signing up for my 12 days of Christmas gift box. The gift box includes what you see here plus the bonus gift. It is $100 in Stampin' Up! product that is all current. And the bonus gift is just something extra that's not Stampin' Up! product from me. Um, so the cost is $120 plus postage. If you sign up and pay by November 15th, I will ship your box by November 22nd. If you sign up later, I'll ship as soon as I can, get everything in and wrapped up. I will start doing a video series on December 1st, and there will be a daily video, one for every gift in the box, with just some little tips and ideas for using it. These are not holiday-themed products, so all of the things that you get in the box, you're going to be able to use all year long. They're just wrapped up in Christmas paper. <laughs> oh my gosh! You guys how much fun i know that uh well i'm gonna be frank okay like i don't usually get a lot for christmas <laughs> i gotta take matters into my own hands and be my own santa shop for myself wrap for myself if i want to get what i want under the tree so if you <laughs> if you have that kind of situation going on at home uh you can be your own secret santa and then enjoy some wrapped gifts from me all right guys let's move on we've got one more project um, so I told you tonight is on stage. Here are the two cards that we've made before um, or already in this video. Tonight is the on stage and um, I signed up to host a party with Triazon. Triazon is a company that um, you can host like home parties and they send you like um, samples of stuff from other companies that you can try and use and sample with your friends um, and tell them all about it. So I signed up for this Triazon party. Um, and so tonight, like it, it was perfect because it coincided, the date to have the party coincided with on stage. So tonight's party is Niagara Chocolates. Oh my goodness. They sent me the most beautiful box of chocolates. I... I, I forgot to bring one in here to show you, um, but I'll be sure to post a picture. So I, I told everybody that we would have a chocolate party tonight. And so I wanted to have a make and take project using the nothing better than to do a chocolate themed card. So here's the card that I created. Today's plan, consume chocolate because adulting is hard. <laughs> I love chocolate, don't you? And nothing goes better with um, stamping than chocolate. I'm using the Nothing's Better Than Stamp Set. You can find this in the annual catalog. And um, I've got some pre-cut pieces ready to go for my friends tonight. I'm using Early Espresso for the card base, a two inch by four inch piece of designer paper, one and three quarter inch by three and a half inch white, and a long strip, a long half inch strip of cinnamon cider. And then of course we need some cardstock for the inside. And so the colors I'm using are cinnamon cider and early espresso. And I got these right from the colors in the designer paper. Do you recognize this paper? I love this masculine pattern, but this is actually Blackberry Bliss. Oh my goodness. I thought this pattern was really perfect for a chocolate card. Um, and if you've been waiting for Blackberry Bliss, it's back in stock. So you can go ahead and grab some of that at juliedavison.com slash shop. Now I will just tell you again, that seasonal sale that's next week, these are all annual catalog, annual catalog dies, stamp sets, and cardstock. Um, so if there's things that you want from the mini catalog, you can just go ahead and order now. You don't have to wait for next week, unless you're also wanting to get ink pads and cardstock and stuff. Okay, let's break down this card. Um, this is going to be a horizontal card. And so we've got these cute little two-step chocolates. So we've got the outline and then the inside, which is gonna be cinnamon cider. So I'm gonna start by stamping um, that outline. And I'm gonna do one in the corner of the inside piece and then also one in the top center. And on this piece also, I'm going to stamp chocolate. Now this stamp set is not just about chocolate. 
It also has coffee, cocktails, and cookies. That's four C's. <laughs> so no matter what your vice is, whether it's coffee or cookies or cocktails or chocolate, this stamp set is really fun to make cards to send to your friends. On the inside for the chocolate, we're going to have the cinnamon cider. So there's, like I said, the little two-step stamp. And I do find that my cinnamon cider, probably because it's so juicy, um, is a little dark. So I'm just going to stamp off on the scrap paper and then stamp inside the outline image to get that lighter version. I'm going to do the same thing for the inside here. I'm going to stamp off and then stamp right in there. Okay, now we have one more bit to stamp and that is the early espresso. And that's the words over here. So I'm using my little half inch piece my little strip, and this is gonna fit, it's tight, <laughs> but it does fit. Uh, I'm gonna stamp the two parts of the sentiment, today's plan, and, oops, good thing. I have a lot, oh my goodness. Let's try one more time on the back. Oh. Hmm, is that not long enough? I guess we need just a slightly longer piece. That's the same size I used before. Let me just get out a different one. Sometimes when you're doing skinny pieces. Okay, that's better. <sighs> okay, so this is a half inch and I think I might go five eighths inch if I was cutting this again. So if you're making this card at home, you might choose to cut your strip at 5 8 inch. Um, that first one is kind of dark, so I'm going to go with this one. Okay, you get the picture. Let's get this card finalized. We are going to glue everything together. I'm going to start with the inside piece. And on the front, we're gonna have that two by four inch designer paper, about an inch or so from the side. And then this piece is going to go on Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm going to do five, one in each corner and one in the middle. And then center this like that and then these we're going to use little mini stampin dimensionals for and i want to make sure to keep them like for the top one i'm keeping them towards the top so the bottom can overlap and then the opposite with the bottom one the bottom one the dimensionals are going to go towards the bottom so the top can overlap with the larger cardstock above it oops uh oh oh my gosh i did it reverse <laughs> That's okay, let's just pull these off and try again. Okay, today's plan, that's the top, so the dimensionals are gonna go on the top. And that little bit is going to overlap, like that. And then the other one, the stamp of dimensionals are going towards the bottom. And that is going to overlap like that. Okay, one last finishing touch. I really wanted to add something to make these chocolates look like chocolates. And so I'm not sure how well I like it because I feel like it, it picked up and it kind of yellowed a little bit, but I did add some of the shimmery crystal effects. And on this one, I just added it like on the detail lines, but I think I'm gonna just spread it around the whole chocolate and um, and make the whole thing look shiny. And then once they dry, I'll have to figure out which way I like it better. <laughs> oh my gosh, doesn't that look yummy? 
Today's plan is to consume lots and lots of chocolate. <laughs> All right, guys, that is my third card. Let me pull the other ones in so you can see them again. I've got to get going and uh, hit this uh, basketball game before awards tonight. So I hope you enjoyed tonight's projects. Clean and simple, but again, that's just totally my style. Leave me a comment and let me know which of these cards you like best. Are these cards that you would make for yourself at home? If you would like to get any of the materials that I use to make them, you can get them in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. Don't forget to sign up for the 12 Days of Christmas gift box. And if you're interested in more information about joining my team, check the video description for the link to that. Have a great night and a great weekend, and I will see you on Sunday for Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie at noon central time. We have a very fun video <laughs> um, scheduled. I um, I was home last weekend visiting my parents, and so mom and I filmed in person, and we had a special guest that joined us. So you'll have to tune in on Sunday to see what we're making this week. Until then, happy stamping.